Hello vegan food explorers. Today we have got our second part in our Fray Bento series and today we're going to be reviewing the vegetable bolti pie. Let's get into it. Please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe as we've got loads of more awesome vegan food coming up. Okay, so the other week we reviewed the Fray Bentos um, steak and kidney bean um, pie. And today we've got the vegetable bolti. So I believe this was the original one. Um, and everyone that I've spoken to of all vegans have said this is the best vegan pie they've had and especially the best vegan um, Fray Bentos pie so I'm really excited so it's vegetable bolti bolti being that the kind of curry style so it's mild so it's not going to be super hot which which would be pretty good as it's Fray Bentos it comes in that really iconic tin um, and something I found interesting that I, I kind of noticed before was on the the later steak and kidney bean they said suitable for vegans um, and it actually won a, a Petra award but this one because it's the original one it says suitable for vegetarians however it is vegan but I feel like I think with the first ones they kind of went out trying maybe not to be vegan as it can put some people off and just being vegetarian but it is actually 100% vegan so if we look on the back so it's mixed vegetables in a bolty sauce topped with a pastry great we put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes and again it's got that classic it's really quite funny because it's it actually suggests the can opener that you need to open it because as you can see it's an absolute beast it's like a nuclear bunker in here um but yeah so you need a pretty strong can opener luckily we have got a really good one let's have a quick look at just the ingredients so it's got vegetables 55 percent of it is actually vegetables which is great canned food often gets a bad rep but it really shouldn't because it can often be better because you can actually can the food when it's most fresh as opposed to being trafficked you know halfway around the world in a plane and um, it can actually be canned on site so it can be really really fresh um, and just because it's canned that's fine it can last for a lot longer so we've got tomato carrot peas onion potato and red pepper that's a really nice mix and then the rest of it you've got a bit of oil um, and emulsifiers and things like that but a lot of it as it is a curry is going to be a load of um, spices so you've got things like garam masala black pepper, cardamom, nutmeg, turmeric, ginger, bay leaves, cloves, cassia, don't even know what that is, ginger syrup. So yeah, it looks really nice. It looks like it's gonna have a lot of flavor, which I'm quite excited about. So calorie wise, per half pie, we're looking at 285 calories. So for the whole one, that is, what's that, 570 calories? That's pretty good, actually. That's a quite a nice meal. And we're gonna have it with some veg and split it between the two of us. So it's 285 calories, bit of fat, I think that's probably from the oil I did see. Yeah, it's got palm, oh, it's got margarine, so rapeseed oil. Okay, I guess that, that's not in the vegetables, that will be in the pie topping. So that's a bit of, bit of fat, bit of saturated fat. Carbs, yeah, not much sugar. Bit of fiber, we like to see that. Um, and then some protein. So it's only six grams of protein, but that's basically because it's not got that fake meat, which the other one had as, as the fake, well, vegan meat, the vegan steak. Um, also, it's got this Metal Recycles Forever logo. Something I really like about that. I think metal is such a good material um, as it does recycle forever and you can just clean this out, pop it in your recycling. Most most um, most countries these days, most definitely most counties in the UK um, accept metal um, for recycling. So it will get recycled, turned into one of these or probably a Coke can. <laughs> anyway, let's get opening it up. I've got my electric, my super duper electric can open here. We're gonna open it up. Have a look at it and then basically let me just check the cooking you want to do, 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 yeah you basically remove the lid and then you just pop this so you take off the lid and you you just have it in this tray on a oven tray and we're going to cook it so i'm going to open it up and then we'll pop it in the oven okay we're almost done Okay, so we've broken the can off. Right, now we're gonna open it. It's, it's pretty good quality, this metal, so it doesn't fray or anything, but yeah, nice. Right, so we take that off, wash that, recycle that. Right, so this looks almost identical to the steak and kidney bean pie, which, which it should, because I guess it's got the same kind of lid, which is something that I didn't realize before, but it's not a pie as in it's not got anything going underneath. It's just got this layer of pastry over the top. So this is gonna rise, and then you've got the ingredients in, inside, and you just eat it out of the can. You can already see, though, it is slightly different. It's got that really nice, bolty sauce coming up here. And smell-wise, 
yeah, it smells like a curry. This is going to be good. Right, I'm going to pop this on a tray and put it in the put it in the oven 25 minutes, and we'll catch up then. See you in a second. Okay, it's been in the oven now for about 25 minutes, and we're going to get it out. It's a bit hard to get out because it's actually increased in size loads more than the steak and kidney kidney bean one did. Um, so I, yeah, it must have a different some sort of different rising because this is so much bigger. Okay, so we've now got it out. And this really looks like a proper pie. The steak and kidney bean didn't, it had, it had risen a little bit, but not as much as this. So I'm really excited. Right, let's get into it. So like I said, this has got just a lid, like a, a pastry lid. It's not round sides. So it's a little bit less calorie and fat because of that, which I think is really smart. It crisps, it's really crisp, but it is still doughy and soft. So it's really nice. Um, so we just cut through here. And I've got to say, I was very impressed with this. It's still, obviously, it's still a pie in a can. It's not a pie from a sh you know a bakery or made at home. But to have a pie in a can that's this easy, it has this nice pastry, and the filling is really really good. Um, it tastes nice. It's got fragrance. Um, it's got loads of vegetables in. You, I don't think you can beat it for the price and for the long longevity of how long it can actually last. So have a couple of these in your cupboard. Pop them out when you just can't be bothered to cook. Be really really great. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.